So again, traction control. So why do you need to turn off the traction control on your Pajero? Because the traction control actually applies brake on the wheel, which is uh, about to cause a spin or uh, lose traction. So on the road is nice, it's a good thing, but on the desert, especially soft sand, it's not good, especially when you're climbing. So today I'm going to again install another traction control on this Pajero, but it's going to be different from my previous video because this specific Pajero is a full options. So there are no available slots to install another switch. Yeah. No available switch, vacant slot for switch on this side. This side also, no available space. Okay. So I will use this switch panel and integrate it to the ECU. This button here can be wired to turn off the traction control. So I'll be using a single pole double throw relay so this will act as a switch now we need to get access to the ASTC ECU which is inside the center console
Okay, so relay installed. This is the relay that I added and splice it on the gray wire. Alright, so restoration is reverse lang ng mga removal sa ginawa. So afternoon, yeah, pwede nang testing it. Okay. So normal. So na traction control. Off. Press lang switch. Alright. Traction control, ASC, ABS, turned off. Turn on again. Alright. Traction control on and off switch. So there are two methods to turn off the traction control on the Pajero. First method is one of the most common method being used and is the easiest. So it's called the induced fault. So you introduce a fault in the braking system on the ABS or the traction control system and the uh, ECU will go to safe mode so the traction control is turned off. So on this method, we are not inducing any fault on the system. So we are simulating the signal being, being produced by the rear diff lock to take the ECU that the diff lock is turned on. So by default, when the diff lock or the rear diff lock is turned on, the ECU will turn off the traction control. So, in this method, you can turn on and turn off the traction control on the fly while you're driving, while you're stopped, while the engine is running. So, no need to stop, turn off, and reset the system. So, this is a more cleaner method in turning off the traction control because you don't have to stop and turn off your engine. It's a lot safer. And also, you are not inducing any fault on the system. So, there are no recorded faults on the ECU or in the memory. Alright.